In this towering 60-foot tall building, four enormous stills transform the distiller's beer into a much purer and stronger form of alcohol. It's a process called distillation. Distillation basically is separating a very volatile material from the beer. And that volatile material is basically alcohol. The mixture flows into the system, seen here through an observation window. Inside the still, the mixture flows across a series of hot metal plates, heating it to around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And because alcohol turns into vapor at a lower temperature than water, the alcohol vapor separates and rises to the top of the still. The vapor then flows into a device called a condenser, where it cools and turns back into a liquid, which flows out of the bottom of the system. The alcohol goes through this line, one floor up, crosses over, goes all the way to the bottom floor, which is over 100 feet down that way. It is then sent back upstairs over and down through a condenser. The distilled liquor flows out of the stills at a rate of up to 9,000 gallons an hour. Unlike finished whiskey, the liquid is crystal clear, but it packs an even bigger punch than the finished product at a mind-numbing 140 proof. Now the alcohol's reached a crucial point in its transformation. It's time for a test by the master distiller. Jeff Arnett is only the seventh person to hold this distinguished job in the company's 150-year history. A job that includes testing the fiery brew fresh off the still which is diluted with distilled water to reduce its potency before tasting. It still has enough intensity of character uh, that you should be able to recognize the signature flavor characteristics, but it minimizes any carryover. And if you pick up the glass and swirl it and smell it, it has a very strong grainy identity. It's very obviously got a lot of uh, corn, which is the predominant grain in our bill. A lot of people say it smells like bread or maybe like corn chips. The master distiller, like all of the workforce here, is exempt from the county's strict ban on alcohol. It does not prohibit us from having official whiskey tasters and allowing the full-time employees of Jack Daniels uh, to taste the whiskey. Uh, that's an important part of the process. It's a job that's part art, part science. The anatomy of the tongue is certainly the science part of it, but the art form is recognizing and understanding Jack Daniels and its unique properties that it has. Perfect.